hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video so today it's monday which means it's a whip and chat but i have got a different painting to show you guys um you can't really see much of it um at the moment because i'm just on the top row it is a very big one it is a 70 by 100 it's from prison diamond paintings and it's called Luna Moth. So I've just turned the light pad on. Um, so if it gave anybody like a flash or anything. So it's called Luna Moth. And it is a licensed piece by Tracy Hazelwood. I'm doing it. Um, I was going to finish obviously Flight of the Fireflies. Um, however. Oh just to tell you before I zoom in. I'm using my blue satin blue tray today. Because. Well, it's satin blue <laughs> and it goes really, really nice with the painting. So, I'm just going to zoom you in, although I'm pretty zoomed in already, which is quite good. But we'll keep it, we'll keep it like that so you can see practically all of the, um, this piece. So anyway, as I was saying... Um, it is a licensed piece uh, from Prism Diamond Paintings. They contacted me and asked if I would basically, if they could send me a painting and I could like complete it for them, um, you know, quickly-ish, so they could do a comparison piece. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll get straight onto it basically when you send it. So it is Saturday today, I'm actually recording on the weekend like I've always intended because I mean I'll get onto it in a minute but I have started my teacher training which I'll talk about like I said in a minute but it is Saturday so obviously I, I weren't in I wasn't in Friday but yeah so it came yesterday so I got home and then this morning I unboxed it on a video but the video might be a while because I've already scheduled some stuff that I wanted to to do first um, that I did film like last week actually I got ahead of myself so because I've already filmed it I um, wanted to schedule it in so we have got some stuff for you coming this week but then I'll probably put this on next week maybe something like that um the unboxing and maybe the kitten up the week after or something like that so you are seeing it being done before you're seeing the other stuff but you will see the kitten up for it and all that jazz i just had to obviously do it asap because they're wanting it done as soon as i can for their website which is cool and I'm just trying to be super duper neat with it, which, you know, I have OCD anyway, so I am pretty neat anyway. Anywho, so that's what I'm doing today. So like I said, Luna Moth by Tracy Hazelwood and Prism Diamond Painting. And obviously the link will be in the description box. So feel free to check it out. Anyway, on to last week. So, oh, what do I start with? I'm going to start with teacher training. Because I feel like a lot of you have a burning desire to know how the house hunting has been going. But there has been exciting developments. So I'm going to make you suffer for a little bit while I just tell you about my teacher training um so teacher training this week has gone amazing it was the induction week so not too too much learning um we did do a bit you know but we did a few sessions just on the what's going to happen side of the course and everything you know how how it's going to play out which was fine um how it kind of works is 
we mainly train in our subject areas and in our subject groups so like I'm 90% of the time with other trainee maths teachers and then I have a couple of sessions a week where I'm with basically a subgroup, a group of four um, trainee teachers from all different areas so in our group there's like maths, maths with physics so they're like training to teach both maths and science um, English and a language trainee teacher um, so I'm in the group with them twice a week and they're really nice but the the actual maths lot all those training maths teachers you know what we've already formed a pretty awesome bond to be honest all the people are lovely can't say a bad word about anybody I think we're all friendly we've been out I only went out Friday with them, so last night for drinks, I just had a couple before coming home. But I was out till 8 o'clock, so we were out for a good like 4 hours. But, that was really nice. Nice to get to know people. Because obviously you're going to spend a lot of time with them, and if you, uh, you ever need to like talk to somebody about something, you're most likely going to go to them, so, because they know what, what you're going through kind of thing so it's just nice to have a really supportive group and yeah they're just lovely um think well actually i've got to give one of them a shout out um so my friend anton i'm only shouting him out because i know he'll watch this because he's like i have told a few people that i'm paying i've not told a lot of people that i have a YouTube diamond painting, um, but I did tell Anne, like, you know, he saw on my laptop, <laughs> and he actually also has a YouTube, um, as well, he plays instruments, um, piano, mainly on his channel, also has a lovely voice, so if you want to listen to any, like, covers or anything, listen to Anton, it would be awesome if you would go over and subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'll leave the link in the description if I remember. Um, if not, somebody write in the comments if I've not left it in the description to put his link in. Um, but I know he'll be watching this because he's he's kind of gonna binge watch some of my videos. So yeah, um, that's just what I mean. Just lovely people. Just overall like. Like in you for you, like don't have to pretend to be somebody you're not or anything like that. Like I feel like I can really be myself around these people, which is lovely. Um. So yeah, I've cried a couple of times this week, a few times actually, because I'm just so, so just emotional. I'm that I'm that teacher that's gonna cry when kids leave the school. You know, when they they get 16, well, 16 in the UK that you leave school or 18 if, you know, I'm in a sixth form college school. And I'm definitely going to be, like, upset when my class, like, leaves. Or even if I, like, lose a class I've had, like, and I don't see the kids anymore. I mean, I might see them around school, but... Yeah, it was like the first one was a video of a couple of kids getting their results on results day and they were just so chuffed to pieces and so that made me cry. Um, then another was like one of our, um, one of the trainee maths teachers on our course was just telling his story about, you know, how he decided he wanted to be a teacher and stuff like that. A few of us shared, but that made me cry. And then we had a talk about like equality and fairness in education. And when talking about the different groups of people and how their education suffers. And we had to watch a, like a documentary about children in poverty, basically. Oh my gosh, 
I mean, a lot of people said they cried at it, so I wasn't alone in that sense. But yeah, I've just been crying all week. I'm just so emotional. I'm definitely going to be that emotional teacher. Which I think, in a way, will make me a good teacher. Or I hope it will. Because I care. Um, so yeah, that was teacher training. I don't, I haven't, I've literally been so busy all week with that and tutoring and house hunting and stuff and sorting things out for that. It's just been ridiculous, like, I've not even diamond painted. This is, I, I sat down, I did a little bit last night on Flight of the Firefly so I could finish the section that I was on. So I felt like I could put it in my wardrobe because I don't really like putting it away, you know, half, like, if I've got sticky, um, on show. Like, I don't mind leaving sticky on show if it's just going to sit on this light pad on my side. That's fine. But if I'm putting it in my wardrobe, I just, I fear it'll touch something and get stuck or whatever. So I don't like doing that. But I did that last night in preparation to kind of put it away for, well, well, I finished this. It might take me a month or so, especially if I'm only doing little bits at a time. My aim is to at least do a section a night. I think my life should calm down this week. I shouldn't be as busy. I should get a little bit of damn painting done a day, or at least half a section, if not. A full section so and I mean today I've already I've breezed past and done one section already so in all fairness it, it was nearly all um was it 939 yeah it was nearly all 939 but having said that I still did it really really fast so I'm proud of myself but anyway on to about the house hunting so I'm trying to think where I last sort of left off about what was happening and I think it was literally when I filmed my last whip and chat last Friday I did I get a phone call I think I got a phone call that I took on the whip and chat um just basically saying that we could go for a viewing on a property the last one I was like waiting for and Saturday um, and I'm pretty certain I told you how excited I was over this property because I saw it and I thought that's a bit of me that's like I love the kitchen I love the bathroom I could see myself living in it I really want to see it anyway so we went on Saturday so first of all we went to another property because um, we did have three sort of viewings booked for Saturday. Uh, the first one was a, it was a complete new build um, but it wasn't a, I don't know when I say new build I, in this country we think of like, or I do anyway, the whole like it'll be some sort of company that's bought a load of land and's building God knows how many houses, like a ridiculous amount of houses and there's a um, an office on site where you go into and register your interest and they'll give you, like they've got show homes to give you a tour so you wouldn't actually tour around your own home. Well this wasn't like that, this was a new build but somebody had just bought like a bit of land, um, like an individual had bought it and had built six sort of identical homes on that bit of land but when we showed up the house was nice in itself I did like it however I um I didn't like the area it wasn't in a nice area um it it very much stuck out like a sore thumb and it looked a bit rough around that where it was and these houses these like new build houses just really stuck out and I genuinely and James felt the same like it could be a bit unsafe living there because you would be a target and I do know that there is quite a bit of crime in that area and drugs and things like that 
um, which I didn't realise it was quite there, like, you know, I didn't expect it to be there because they looked lovely and then when we pulled up the road and we saw them we were like oh god this is this is them houses yeah automatically we had in our head like we don't want to live here like in this area um then the second place oh, sorry place we went to was literally a new build development but we thought I mean James kind of liked the idea of getting a new new build and I'm going to say new, new build because I still class like the other houses we've been to see, ones that are like two or four years old as new builds, like realistically. Yeah, they've been lived in, but they are still your generic sort of like new build property. But yeah, James, James liked the idea of getting a new, new build. Um, so moving into it like as soon as it's been built. And being the first owners and stuff like that. But I wasn't so keen on it because basically you can move into it and it's still basically a development site. You know, you're living there while houses around you are still being built. And I do think as well, if, if I came to sell them a few years later, well, why would you pay for it when you can literally go and get if they're still building anyway, like a brand new one for the same price, like you'd find you'd find it hard to get any equity, you know, to make any money on the profit on the on the property. Of course, you get equity because you get what you've already sort of paid into the mortgage, but you wouldn't be making anything on it basically, which I just didn't want, you know. So, but I just thought it's important that we go in. We have a look and we get it out of our system. or well, mainly James gets it out of his system. So we went and had a look round and they were just tiny. And, you know, for the money, it's like for the standard, you basically get nothing and unless you want to pay more to get a kitchen. You don't particularly even think they're fantastic, you know. Um, but they're like what you would class as like standard like what you would want and you'd have to pay more for it it's just it's all crazy we just didn't like it so then from there we went to this house the one that phoned me up last whip and chat and we walked in and we looked around and it was just absolutely just my dream um it was incredible. I don't even know where to begin. Um, but, oh, one second. James is just phoning me. One sec. Oh, right, okay. Feel really oh, slumped over now. So, sorry about that. James was just wanting to know what we're doing for like dinner and stuff later on today. Because these are his house. Printing trays. Printing all your diamond painting trays for the people that have ordered them. Um, we are actually very, very busy at the moment with diamond painting trays. So you may have noticed on Etsy our dispatch times increased to like two to four weeks now. Um, which is unfortunate. I always wanted to keep it at one to two. But the other alternative is literally that we just like print colours like that we decide to print and then have a stock but I much prefer you know that you get yours printed to order so then you've got the wide array of colours because if I did that and we just had what was in stock then you probably wouldn't get half of the colour choice that you have at a given time or you know if you're an uh, international you know, you might have to wait for like the colour that you want to come round, but then if you wanted multiple to make, you know, deliveries cheaper, um, by the time that colour comes around, you may not have the other colour in stock that you want. So, you know, there's like lots of factors involved and why we would prefer to be like a print to order company 
Um, but anyway, off that because I don't overly like talking about my business on here. I just don't think I don't think it's the place to do so. Um, I'm not here to promote myself. I'm here to to damn paint and have fun. But anyway, so we were talking when we about the house. So we got there and we were shown around and. I absolutely love the kitchen, love the bathroom exactly how I thought I would do and I just felt, I love the living room, I just felt so, so at home there, it was weird, I really would feel comfortable living in that house whereas the other ones I just didn't see myself living in at all, it was just like I was a guest there whereas this one I'm like, I, I genuinely wanted to, to live in that house and I could see, I could come home and I would see how I would do it up and stuff. Anyway, James was a bit harder to convince. Not that he didn't like it, he loved it. James is definitely a person that would, would tell me if he didn't like it. Um and he wouldn't he wouldn't live there. It just it would be a, just a hard no. It'd be like I don't like it. Um he did like it but he I was literally like let's put an offer in like right now. I'm like, I love it, I want this house, this has to be my home, let's put an offering and he's like, hold your horses, let's think about it first, but then he did think about it over the weekend because it was like 2.30 on a Saturday, so the estate agents were like basically closed anyway, Um, so he had like till Monday kind of thing to think about it. So I could phone them up on Monday. And we decided to put an offer in. So come Monday, we put an offer in for the house. We didn't expect it to be accepted, to be honest, because I knew it had a, quite a few viewings um, that were done on it. But they did, they accepted our offer. Um, and the estate agent did say, he did say, like, there has been another viewing, like, after us on the Saturday that hadn't come back, but, and if they did want to put an offer in, because it was only Monday, and it was, like, the first day afterwards, that they could, they would have, like, pass that on to the, the seller and see what the seller, or as they call a vendor, would want to do about it, but they never did, and it was ours, so everything has been passed over like so I had to sort all that um, paperwork out we did actually have another view in Monday night which we still went to but in all honesty we just didn't we didn't feel it and that's good because we knew that that meant our decision was the right decision for us like we walked in and don't get me wrong I have nothing wrong with like people smoking you know people you do what you want in um in your life but I'm not a smoker so when I walked into this house and it smelled of cigarettes it was just a very strong potent smell for me and I know for a fact that it can be something that is quite hard to get out so if you're not a smoker you can smell it's a bit like pets like, you know, some people might come into our house and think, wow, this smells really bad of dog. Um, but you smell it more because you don't have dogs. Do you know what I mean? So we did think, like, um, to be honest, this probably isn't for us anyway. And then it also had cracks on the walls for a new build. We were like, oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> we're, not, we're not living somewhere where... Like, we're not buying a new build that needs lots of work done. Like, that's not happening. The idea of buying, like, a... And when I say new build, I'm on about, like, a... It's been lived in, but not for too long. I think this one was, like, two years old. Yeah, I just... I couldn't... I couldn't do it. Um, And like I said, it just reiterated that we'd made the right decision with the house that we wanted, which was brilliant. Um... So yeah, Monday evening, obviously, we did go to look at that other property, but um, kind of celebrated a little our, our offer being accepted on the other one, and um, 
getting all our paperwork sorted to send through to the um, estate agent. Then I also phoned up our mortgage advisor who wanted to get cracking on the mortgage application. Um, so we had a meeting with her Wednesday evening. Uh, Tuesday evening I tutored, then Wednesday evening, like I said, was the mortgage advisor and also tutoring. Um, and it's like we've got a solicitor now, so there's like loads of paperwork to do. We've got to wait for a few things to come in, got some stuff to pay for. I don't even know if I'm doing everything right. I literally have no idea. Um, I'm reading some sort of stuff on the solicitor paperwork and like, I don't know what that means. I don't know, I have no idea. Um, so it's very, it's daunting, but we're also just, like I started making a list of things that I want to buy, you know, for the house. Like what bed I want, what sofa we want, all that sort of stuff. So in one sense it's daunting and then in another sense it is just, incredible really and I can't believe this is going to happen it, it's crazy um, to think that we are in the process of of moving out and owning our own house I will be homeowners that's crazy I never ever ever in a million years thought this day would come it's, it's strange and when I say that a lot of people are like mm, yeah but you know that's what happens when you grow up. No, I literally have always had these feelings with like big, when big phases of my life have come around basically, that I would just never see them and I just, I never thought I would ever see any of them. Like, like finishing uni, like even finishing high school, with stuff like that, it was like, am I actually ever gonna become an adult and be in the real world? It, seriously that's how my brain works and then now I'm like I never thought I would live on my own with James like I never thought that I would move out of my parents home um that I would never get the opportunity I don't know why that sounds really like morbid and strange but it's the way my brain plays tricks on me I guess so it's really strange but can you believe it so I think the next steps are like um, to get the paperwork, the rest of the stuff through to the solicitor. Um, I think we've got some statement to send to the... Oh, there's some dogs barking outside. Um, some paperwork needs to be sent through to like, the solicitor and the uh, person handling our mortgage application. And I think that's the main thing for now. The solicitors are doing our, what they call the searches, which I think when they say searches, it means like searching databases. It sounds really strange. It's like, oh, they're completing their searches. I was like, searches on what? And they're just called, so everybody says completing the searches. I'm like, hey. Huh. So I'm learning things as I go along. I've definitely got to learn a lot because all this sort of stuff goes straight over my head but you know it's a new experience for me so I shouldn't expect too much of myself so I'm very tired to be fair today it has been a long week and I've been getting home at like 8 o'clock at night from like either tutoring or house viewings or whatever like I haven't spent a lot of time at home at all, um, which is just crazy in itself. So I've been very, very busy, and I've just been going to bed like ASAP as soon as, as soon as I've got in, I'd be going to bed because I've been tired. And I don't know why I'm yawning now. I don't even feel that tired, but clearly I am. Um, so today it is quite late actually because so I was filming 
the video is for this so I could I could start doing it and then my battery died on my camera so I just started down painting with my mum and spent a bit of time with her and um, you know I can't be too much longer because I've got to edit these and then I've got to pack orders I think I've already said this actually but I do have to pack some orders and you know they are slightly overdue which I've never done before but I can't always help it like we've had some printer issues um, and issues with filament and stuff so it has put us slightly behind and this is the first week where I've not been monitoring and being able to print as much as I like so that also doesn't bode well so I'm trying my best to to keep on top of the printing and the orders and everything but I do have to apologise to people that you know, are waiting because usually <sighs> I don't know why I keep yawning. I'm very on top of things usually and I haven't been so I've just been battling through. I also have some homework to do for uni which I would like to get for complete. So it just feels like this like my Saturday has got away from me and away. I don't know where the time's gone but still have tomorrow I still have Sunday and then this week come in I am on a primary school placement so I'll be with kids between the ages if you're not used to the UK education system um, it'll be children the ages of three in infant school to then going all the way up into primary school up to the age of 11 so well actually there probably won't be many if all at all any students that are 11 there'll be 10 light and max at the moment and then the birthdays will be throughout the year to take them to 11 years old but that'll be like the ages that I'm with and I'm looking forward to it to be fair it gets me my first of the year sort of in school experience and the first time I can use like all my new teaching accessories my Miss Wilson accessories um which will be really nice but yeah sure that will be an exhausting week also I am going back to Slimming World on Tuesday I've decided I want to go back to group I've been very, very good with my food this week. Well, up until today when I've already had a cocktail um, with my mum because she wanted a cocktail for some reason. And I did have a sandwich, but I'd not, I've not eaten bread the rest of the week, I don't think. So, I'm getting better. And, oh my goodness, just walking this week around Sheffield. Oh my god, my legs were aching. I'm so unathletic right now. It's crazy. Honestly, sitting on my bum for like 14 weeks. In fact, it's even been longer, let's be real. I haven't been to university since... Um, well, since the pandemic started. So what was that? Last March. That's the last time I actually genuinely did daily exercise, daily walking around. How ridiculous is that? Last March. Um, and I should be hard on myself. A lot of people have been in the same boat. So apologies if you have been. I'm not trying to say that's bad. It's just, for me, it's now had a huge impact that even the slightest bit of just walking is my calves are like stinging I have to stop every few minutes or every few well every about 30 seconds because my calves are stinging and burning with pain Um, that's not normal like I should be able to carry my own body weight but 
you know, evidently I am very, very unfit. So definitely a call to diet or to eat better and to do exercise and I'm just hoping with them few like changes that'll be on the way to getting you know down a few clothes sizes and you know a few stone off so hopefully I can do that and then I'll be a much happier healthy person um but yeah I don't think there's anything else that I really want to to say today um I hope you really all have a fantastic week um yeah I hope you enjoyed this one so I will of course always fill you in next Monday on this upcoming week and what I've been doing and whatnot and I will endeavour to keep you updated on my house and of course, like, when we move in, you know, when I've got stuff sorted, I will give you, like, a tour of, well, it's not going to be a craft room, it's just going to be a room with, it's going to have, it like, a desk on it. Obviously, it's where I'm going to keep my diamond painting stuff, but then it's also going to have, like, a pull-out sofa bed. It's not going to be overly crafty, it'll hopefully be quite pretty and you know just a, an extra chill zone of the house but anyway I will still give you a tour of that when when I've moved in and I've got that all sorted but obviously we're moving into a house and I don't already own things like you know what I mean I don't own a sofa I don't own it I have a tv in my room but I don't own like another TV like downstairs or anything I don't own a bed because I mean the bed that I sleep on is staying here it's like you know my mum's actually bought it and I don't own like dining furniture I don't even own plates and knives and forks and stuff we'll have to go to Ikea for them um we'll have to go to Ikea for a lot of things to be fair Ikea is fantastic for all that but my point is you know, it's going to take a little while to build things in my house up to the standard that I'd like in order to show you stuff. So you'll have to bear with me and obviously bear around the moving and things like that. But hopefully it'll all go swimmingly. And I'll just keep you updated in the process and what's happening in terms of the house. So... Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and of course watching. And until next time guys, see you in the next one. Bye!